I could pull them toys. I don't. I think that came out okay. You, <laughs> Shay. Nobody's gonna be like your makeup look trash, even though you. I thought I was doing some shit with my eyes. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Tissa. You can call me Shay for short. And I tried some new shit for my eyes. I don't know if I like it yet. But I was like, Sukuna has like, he got all these tattoos and stuff. And I have not one tattoo on my body. So I figured if I look like I did something with my eyes, I, I put some effort towards it. We links for the original creator will be down below. I it will be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look. So let's go ahead and jump in it. Sukuna is overpowered. I don't know. It's been a long day, man. About to sit down, eat this sandwich, watch me the NBA playoffs. Get this video to at least 150,000 views and 15,000 likes. 1,000 views and 15,000. You ain't a lot went up. But, but, I need your fans to do something for me before what? I allow that. First of all, Nick, you ain't allowing up. Hey, what's up, bro? They gotta get this video to at least 150,000 views and hey? 15,000 likes, and then you can do the JJK Zero movie. I'm just a hundred, bro. I'll I'll take I'll take I'll take, I'll take ten thousand views, and I'll take I'll take two thousand likes. If y'all please go forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please. Thank you. Say it. All right, bro. Why, why are you even bringing that up, though? Like, what does JJK Zero have to do with anything? I'm just trying to eat a sandwich, bro. I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> well, bro, you gotta talk about the demon, right? Sukuna? Nah, you right, though. That is a demon. Let me hop in the booth. All right, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, yo. This man Sukuna is a demon, bro. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna come all the way clean. The way that this doesn't care about anything except for enacting chaos lets me know that this is a fucking menace. Oh my god, so One hot. time I seen Sukuna beat up this guy in a gas station, <laughs> and then I was like, yo, Sukuna, why you do that? He was like, man, I was pumping my gas, and then breathe next to me. Like, bro, this is different. He's the type of to take a butcher knife and, and spread peanut butter on a sandwich with that. Just in case <laughs> they're combined, you want to stab him. But all of this started with this nigga Yuji. Doing something mad weird. Can we talk about how this nigga ate a finger? First off, that is unhygienic. You don't know where that finger been at. You, know. you don't know what nasty ass demon coochie that finger's been in. The finger didn't look right. I'm gonna be honest. Bruh, it's not even a finger didn't look right. He ate the finger just to save his friends. And if his if those fingers was in a vagina, that girl got a hysterectomy now because he done scraped up all her cervix. Jesus Christ, bro. This look like a shriveled up prune Nigga just popped it in his mouth what else you be putting in your mouth Yuji? i'm just saying and i don't want to hear you on the comments talking about they're high schoolers you can't make those jokes shut the fuck up <laughs> shouldn't have put a finger in his mouth i'm just saying stop with this nigga, man anyways anyways so this cursed finger is one of ten i believe it might be more than that y'all do eat as let me know in the comments but anyways if you eat all of these fingers sukuna will be released now, Yuji ate this finger because this cursed, like, demon ass was trying to get it. And he was like, nah, I ain't gonna have it, so I'm gonna pop it in my mouth. Why didn't you just throw the finger? Put it in your pocket and run or something. What made you think, man, let me eat this finger? Like, I don't, I still don't get it, but uh, whatever. At this point, he meets Megami. Now, Megami is the, like, edgy character of the show. We've talked about him before. He's like the Sasuke to Naruto for Yuji. But this video is about Sukuna, so let's talk about the first time he comes up in the series. So Megami and Yuji, it's looking abysmal for him. It's looking dim for him. Yeah. And then this nigga Gojo shows up, and oh my god. Oh, oh, Gojo. Oh my god. Just... I'm having a day today. I already filmed something with Madara. Oh, I already filmed something with Madara. I already filmed something with Vegeta. And now I got Gojo. Oh, my God. I, I need to take a cold shower. Jesus. I'm sorry. Let me grab my soda because I'm I'm appearing hella thirsty. And I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take it. Oh, yo, 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 editor. I know I'll be like, cue the minutes of music. But nah, nah, nah. Cue the epic music for this one, yo. This man Gojo was different. Bro, honestly, bro. There's so many things that I could talk about for Gojo. Mm -hmm. Yo, honestly, let me know if y'all want a Gojo video because this is a different breed. He be violating. Bruh, do I want one? Hell yeah. I want a video. I want a series. I want why he's so sexy. I don't, I want all of that. 
pause and then fast forward and then put my black ass in it. Thank you. He's, <laughs> he's not even a demon. He's past that, but that's neither near or there. My point Teach is, me, man, Daddy. Gojo shows up and says, yo, let me just get 10 seconds with Sukuna real quick. Let me see what we working with. This man, Yuji, looking at him like, are you sure? Like, like I, I, won't be, I, I don't know if I can control him once I let him out. And we don't know how strong this is. Man, Gojo look back at him like, I said, give me 10 seconds. Bitch, don't worry. I'm the realest in the Jujutsu Sorcery Society. I, I, I mean, I mean, he, he said he was the strongest, but you know what I mean? So at this point, Sukuna comes out, and I ain't gonna lie, looking like a demon, bro. This man get tattoos on his face when he come out. You know you're a demon when you got your own layout. Came out, changed the character on 2K. Bro came out, had motherfucking tattoos on his face, looking like he was in some sort of Samoan tribe. I'm just saying. Now at this point, man, this man Sukuna tries to get the fight in Gojo, and I'm going to be honest. This nigga Gojo dodged everything. He dodged the first hit and then sat on this nigga Sukuna's back. Used him as a fucking lawn chair. I'm telling you, this man Gojo's a demon. I'm talking about my students watching. So I gotta show off. Like, oh, okay. Oh, this nigga was like, weave, weave. But it can't hit him with a clothesline. Clothesline is not to a fence pose. At this point, he counted down and then Yuji took control of him. It didn't even matter though, because this man Gojo was not buying that he could control him. He walked up on Yuji and tapped this nigga on the forehead and put him straight to sleep. Bro, once again, mm -hmm. you know you're a fucking monster when you put him to sleep by touching their forehead. Mm -hmm. Don't touch his forehead like he was reading that nigga a lullaby. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if Yuji die before he wake, forehead tap. And nigga, that's what happened. Yeah. Now let's fast forward to the next time Sukun is in the story. At this point, Yuji, Megami, and I think it was uh, Nobara. I forgot her name because she's fucking dead or she's not back in the series yet, gay, gay. Mm. What is going on with Nobara? Anyways, anyway, that's neither near or there. My point is they are on a mission and they're supposed to be fighting this curse. Now their teacher told them, yo, if you run into a special grade curse, dip off. Don't fight them. Don't engage. Run away. But what do these niggas do when they run into a special grade curse? We're Jujutsu sorcerers. We gotta do our job. And they stay there and fight this and knowing they can't f with them. Okay, first and foremost, it's not like they just knew how to get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. It it all happened really fucking fast. It's not like he they were like, oh man, we gonna overstay our welcome. It they were like in like an infinite um they were like in like a uh I think they were in like an expansion or something. Uh I just don't mean expand me, teacher. Please, can we do a video on him? Jesus. The first thing that happens to this nigga Yuji off rip, his whole arm gets sliced off. Now, I'm gonna have to like censor this part because you know uh, them yellow marks, you feel me? Ask hey, ability and all that. I, I ain't with that YouTube. Chill. He sliced this man's whole arm off. Well, it wasn't his arm, but it was his whole hand. I was about to stump where his arm was. Once again, you know, I gotta hit y'all with the Mega Man joke. Cause that's what that shit look like. Mm -hmm. Every time I see a nigga with a missing arm, I'm like, damn, what you about to use? The buster cannon? Like, bro, what's up with you? Bro out here looking like dope or Orochi with his missing hand. Like, I'm just saying. Well, that nigga look Anyways, like from they Baki. made up this plan for him to switch to Sukuna once Megami and Obara were away. Because Sukuna told him, oh, you can switch to me. But if I you do, uh, nigga, I'm, I'm gonna murk your fucking friends. friends. I'm gonna okay. smoke this special great ass nigga. And I'm gonna smoke you. I'm gonna smoke your friends, jazz. And then I'm gonna run to a store. I'm gonna rob every gas station in the vicinity <laughs> nigga, with your face because I know I can get away with it. I'm gonna be up. You feel me? It's up and it's stuck if you let me out. Like, it's, it's talking crazy. Anyways, the plan was enacted and the switch happened. And oh my God, bro. This nigga instantly healed Yuji's hand. He didn't even mean to do it. That's how you know it is a menace. He was upset that he did it. He was like, man, I ain't wanna heal this little hand. Like, oh well. Like, this was mad he healed this nigga. man i swear to god this man sukuna has no fucking heart anyways he healed mm -hmm. his hand up and shit. I, I ain't gonna lie yo the special grade was not playing with this nigga, though came straight out with the biju blast bro hit him with the cursed energy attack but once again man sukuna is a different fucking mm -hmm. beast so at this point after this blocks the fucking cursed energy attack casually bro this man channels his atlanta like some of my other black air force characters bro and this man stomped this his face, bro. Oh bro, he that was the mush from a god. He mushed that nigga and then he stomped his face. Like, I'm being dead serious. How casual this nigga was beating this nigga's ass. It was beautiful. 
Oh, this got the black Tims on, I see. I ain't gonna lie, though. Yuji got them fat-ass shoes on. What's up with all these characters with fat shoes? Like, at least they ain't Deku, though. This man Deku <laughs> got, like, Jordan lugs on. Like, I don't even, like... What are those? Anyways, though, this, this ain't an MHA video. My point is, he stomped the shit out of this nigga. Bro, if a nigga stomp me, it's up and it's stuck, bro. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I, I need my ones or something, bro. I, like, like, like... Well, I guess they is getting the ones right now. Damn, that nigga just getting stomped because he's trash anyway. Hold on, does that nigga get on a, on a thong? I like, 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 well, I guess they is getting the ones right now. I just noticed this nigga had on a thong. Bro, this is my first time seeing it. I'm sorry. I I didn't know he had on a thong, bro. I see why he pissed off, bro. Thongs are, thongs are not, thongs are cute. Thongs are cute when you think you, you trying to be all sexy for your, you know, your significant other and stuff. But I'm telling you what, bro. I, I settle for a cool, some cool boxes instead of that, shit. <laughs> Damn, that just getting stumped because he's trash. Anyway, anyways, this gonna knock this man into a wall so hard his body part started falling apart. This man had to start regenerating his body. He talking yep. down to this the whole time. He's talking about keep trying special okay. grade. I'm like, oh my God, who are you talking to? Damn I ain't gonna lie, I'm not letting nobody talk to me like that, bro. I would've had to smack this out of this suit in a, to add insult to injury or salt to the wound or Y'all yeah. know what I'm saying, bro. This man opened up his ultimate technique. The peak for Jujutsu Sorcerers. Domain expansion. expansion. But this nigga said it in a cool-ass Japanese way. Mm -hmm. But this man used Malevolent Shrine. I'm like, oh, oh, shit. Bro, you know how this domain is different, right? You know, most domain expansions encase you and the enemy into, like, this, like, barrier. Y'all are just in this, like... I don't know how to explain it, bro. Like, I, 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 it, it's intricacies to the attacks and, and, and powers in JJK that I'm not going to delve into. It is what it is. So basically, you put it like this. You're in a fucking safe space and you're not allowed to fucking leave. So it's just like me in a safe space with the fucking liberal. You, you're not allowed to leave and you're supposed to hear him out or y'all can fight to the death. Whichever one, whichever one happens first. But basically, you enclose your enemy with you. But this is built different. He literally comes to the streets with his. This man is outside, bro. <laughs> He's outside at all times. He's like, nah, I ain't gonna enclose you. You have all the room in the world. We outside with it. It's like that meme with the like, bring that ass to the street. But he really did bring that ass to the street, bro. He's outside with his. <laughs> bro, this man be slicing and dicing with it, bro. He, this just got done watching horror flick. Nigga one shot him with one slice and dice. I'm like, oh my god. He talking about. I thought it was gonna take three hits. But you a bum ass nigga, so it only took one. I'm like, oh my god! So at this point, he it wasn't three hits. He thought he no, cause he did it once, and he thought he he did it once, and he thought he was gonna be split into three pieces. But the nigga was so weak, he get, he split him into six, and that's not a good freeze frame. He that's that YouTube that is him going into his chest, not going into somewhere else. It looks like freezer's asshole. It was like, <laughs> hey Yuji, I'm done. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, bitch ass nigga, you hear me? Hey, hey nigga, you hear me? And then he realized with this menacing ass grin that he didn't have to switch back. And I said, oh uh, no. You know uh, what that means? Time to go fight Megami. <laughs> Today in the Megami gets punished show, we have Sukuna versus Fake Sasuke. I mean, I mean, he, I mean, I mean, Megami. <laughs> Let's go. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga was mocking Yuji straight to Megami's face, talking about he weak and shit. He was like, he yo, is. just a minute ago, this bitch ass nigga is in there crying and shit. You know what I'm saying? Holding this stub. You know what I mean? Hand is bleeding out. He's like, oh, oh. oh these regrets he got. Soft ass. Well, tell that nigga to stop being soft. That's why I took his heart out. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Like, the bitch, he don't need no heart. Pull straight up to Megami, bro. I'm gonna be honest. This nigga Megami was trembling, bro. Like, like bro, literally. Mega me sitting there trying to do his little hand signs and all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Naruto ass show. I mean, my fault. But he's trying to do his little hand signs to, to, to use new and all his little shadows and shit. This nigga trembling. Man, shaking in his boots. Shiver me timbers ass nigga. <laughs> having tremors in his hands. I okay, to be honest and serious, watching your friend who's possessed by a demon rip their heart out and then you hear you hear that demon still talking shit and you supposed to be you supposed to be you supposed to be doing creative game signs to summon niggas i'm just saying it's 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 kind of hard there you go
I ain't gonna lie though, this man Shukuna was going crazy. He dodging with his hands in his pocket. It reminded me of that one wrestler, yo. It's this new wrestler. I don't really watch wrestling like that, but but it's I've seen clips he's gonna be fighting with his hands in his pockets. That's what this nigga was doing. Oh Sanji mm -hmm. ass nigga put his hands in his pockets. Weave, weave, oh, right, moderate. It's different. So we finally swung at this nigga and dodged, but grabbed him and pulled him in, yo. Oh my god. He pulls him in and says, put more curse behind it. Then strike me. <laughs> and rock this thing. <laughs> <laughs> bitch slapped this him. Nigga, bro. Oh my God. At this point, this man Mega Me channeled his inner Orochimaru Ooh. and sent out a big ass snake. First off, nigga, where did you get this from? Second <laughs> off, like, what's up? Yo, like, like, what's up with this Naruto ass shit, bro? But, oh, I'm just saying, bro. That man Orochimaru is a freaky weird ass nigga, But anyway, that's neither near there. Y'all might have to do an Orochimaru video, honestly, because that is a demon too. But my, 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 my bad. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, this big ass snake comes out. Nigga got behind him. Grabbed his jacket though. Like he weaved the snake, got behind this nigga, threw him in the lost air, that and nigga. greeted this nigga with the meanest kick ever. I think I'm sweet. I know I'm sweet. Sweet shit music hit this nigga straight into a building. Then he grabbed his bird new and tried to fly off. Oh my god, just to be fucking caught and fucking the hog slammed down into the ground. Get him the in fuck the air, down. Like, Today I'm traveling first class. Boom! Hit this. <laughs> my God, Nick playing down, fucked up with his dick sporting good sevens on, yo. This man Mega Me got these dumbass crusty boots too. Oh, Macklemore ass boots, you know what I'm saying? The Macklemore threes, motherfucker looking like an extra on broke back Mountain Tokyo edition. But I'm just saying. Anyways, Nick got so punished, he started having a flashback mid fight. You know when a nigga beat you into a flashback, bro? That is a problem. Anytime a main character has a flashback mid fight, you're like, okay, they about to do something cool. Cause you know they got punished into it. Motherfucker got your life flashing before your eyes. Got different memories flashing. Like, <laughs> was about to use his trump card. Luckily, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Yuji came back. Like, hot damn, yo. But that man Suka to punish this nigga, bro. And that's all, folks, for the Mega Me getting fucked up by Suka in our show. Now we're moving on to Shigaraki. I mean, Mahito. Uh, anyways, so my man Shigaraki, I mean, <laughs> Mahito was in the midst of getting fucked up. I mean, he was yeah. getting mixed before our next encounter with this demon Sukuna. But when I tell you they turned this into the fight back meme, they literally did. Yeah, they the did. First time I seen that we matched this fight to the meme. Bro, I see so many fight back, fight back oh, with this clip. Man, they was punishing that nigga, bro. I'm just saying. Bro. Shout out to my anatomy, you know what I'm saying? The goats. <laughs> Stop playing with them. So eventually he used his domain expansion, but this it made a mistake and tried you, to infiltrate uh, Yuji yeah, after Sukuna yeah, told him. Don't, don't, do, it don't do it. I told you the first time, like, and I'm like, uh oh. That man Sukuna told him, like, bruh, so, bruh, that's why he was getting his ass beat because Sukuna said, like, hey, yo, I swear to God, if I see your punk ass again, we gonna have problems. I'm and and then he he went back. I told you there wouldn't be a second time. And they cut this nigga up menacingly. Nick was sitting at the top of his throne looking down on this nigga and then faded into darkness. You know you're a demon when you got a different <laughs> OST and you just fade into dark. This nigga changed the music. Come on, bro. What are you saying? You might as well just put the stone cold music up every time you see this nigga, bro. Like, goddamn. <laughs> So for this next part though, I have to tell y'all, manga spoilers. This is gonna be covering the Shibuya incident arc, which has not been animated yet. Well, we ending it right here because I have I have not seen I have not I have not seen any further than that. So I'm ending it. Trust me, original links for the creator will be down below. Again, my name is Shay T Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. I I love I love Jujutsu Kaisen. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So uh I have three channels. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to those. Go ahead. Uh, it's good. It's it's Shay Too Sweet. Uh, it's Shay Too Sweet. Shay Too Sweet Gaming and Shay Too Sweet. Uh, with two O's and every day everything else. Go ahead. It's gonna be sweetness all around. Get yourself a sweet tooth f f from Shay Too Sweet. Amen. I'm still trying to work work how I'm gonna work that uh, catchphrase out. So you you gotta roll with me. Be okay with me. Okay. Again. My my name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short, and like my grandmother always says, Sella. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. If you gon' spin out them close to me, uh, bring out the can, would you post me, uh? What would you do to get close to me, uh? I blow the flowers, that's perfect. I hit it once in his wedding. I hit that ass in the back of the Chevy. Bust up a back, she let me. Then blow the gas, like we at the Getty. She like, you gotta respect me.